friends are you seeing an image inside my this table in this video we are going to learn how we can insert an image in html table so we will create a simple this type of table and insert an image in a circular shape so friends video is going to be more important and before start i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos let's start so friends first of all on my desktop i will create a folder here and name this folder use images in html table next i will open my visual studio code click on file open folder and i have to open this folder in my visual studio code in this folder i will create a basic html file here name index.html and when i will click on go live i have installed a go live extension to my visual studio code so you can see the output without any delay so friends next i will open a google here and type here person image pixabay mail i will open the pixabay website and from here i'm going to download this image i will click on free download choose the resolution of your image and click on download button i will select desktop my folder and i will type here my image save so friends you can see that in my project folder i have an image named myimage.jpg now i will create a basic html structure here and inside the body element i will type here table table row table head i will type here product image copy this and paste here three time product name quantity and suppose here i will type here remove so here i have create four table headings after this i will create a tr element which stand for table row and inside this i have to type first of all i will refresh this you can see that these are my table headings and inside this table data i will type here div you can directly type here image element but i will type here div for some reason which you will understand when i will write my css code and here i will type suppose class is equal to product image inside this i will type image element and i have to give type here my image name which is my image dot jpg here you can see my image after this table data closing tag i have to create another td element inside this friends i think we should change this to student student and student course yes now it is looking relevant next after this table data i will type here student name like fahim and create another table data here like ielts and suppose in the last table data i can create a button here remove so friends here you can see that we have any an image in our table and this is the student name course and a remove button and these are the table headers this is a pretty simple table we have to design this using css so first of all i have to create a new file here named style.css and then i will link my this css file with my html code i have to type here style.css friends from here i have to remove this text also remove this table head as well to remove this text from our output next open the style.css and type here padding 0 margin 0 these two properties will remove the default margin and padding from our each html element next i have to copy this table element paste here and before this we have to type here one more property which is box sizing border box in this universal selector so type here width 100 percent and border one pixel solid black copy this table element paste here and next copy this tr element paste here and similarly copy this table head element and paste here and next copy this table data element and paste here and in this block of code i have to type one css property border one pixel solid black remove this border property from here and in the output you can see that our table have this type of beautiful border so next to collapse this border i have to type one css property border collapse collapse now you can see a single border in our each table row table data and table head next i have to copy this product image class paste here and type here width 100 pixel height 100 pixel or i can change this to 150 pixel next copy this image element which exists inside this product image class paste here and before this copy this class and paste here here we have to type width 100 percent now you can see the width of our image 100 percent stand for the 100 percent of available width so the available width to our image element is 150 pixel that's why our image have 150 pixel of total width and similarly i will type here height 
auto if you want to display this image in a circular way you can type here border radius 50 percent and overflow hidden and here in the width i will type here 100 percent and we have to add one more property here object fit cover so our image will be fit in in its available size next copy this td element paste here and inside this i will type padding 15 pixel and text align center next i will copy this body element paste here and type here padding 50 pixel so friends now you can see that we have insert an image inside our table using html and css i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching